Welcome back to Packs and Picks. Today we're looking at the fourth sealed pool for March of the Machine and the deck I made with it. So let's jump right in. Let's take a look at the rares. So we got Jeru and Hazret, Transcendent Message, Inga and Asika, Yodora Grave Gardener, Kahira, and Invasion of Ikoria. So there were a couple other rares that made it into the deck. These are the ones that did make the cut. Uh, Inga Nasika definitely supporting a go-wide strategy with lots of creatures. Didn't really see that in this pool of cards, so that's why they're out right now. Um, there was some good synergy, though, with Kira at the Orphan Guard and Invasion of Ikoria, you know, looking for non-human creatures in the deck. But as we'll see in a bit, the green pool was just really kind of shallow this time around, so green didn't end up in the final build of the deck. So those are the rares. Let's take a look at the multicolor. Rampaging Geoderm, we got Jury Master of Review, Invasion of Pyrulia, Invasion of Kaladesh, a Halo Hopper, and we actually had some good fixing in this pool. Uh, we had four dual lands, two of which ended up in the deck. We got Rugged Highlands and Bloodfell Caves. Um, just looking at the the cards between the rares and the uncommon multicolored cards here, there's definitely an option to go green-blue. Um, but as I kind of mentioned before, this, the green wasn't really there in this pool. Um, but a lot of fixing, which I did appreciate um, in, the, uh, in this pool this time around. So let's take a look at the colors that actually I didn't pick, and then we'll end up on the final deck. So starting with blue, when I go through a sealed pool, what I like to do is kind of separate the, the colors by the cards that I'm excited for, or things that I'm looking forward to playing. And so in blue, uh, these are some of the cards that I uh, was looking at that I like the looks of. Um, so as far as Dispersal, Astral Wingspan, a little bit of Night Synergy here in Zarek Strobe Knight and Protocol Knight. I really like Preening Champion. Um, 2-2 two, two for 3, a flyer creates a token when it comes in, so it can help inspire some of those uh, creature token strategies. Um, a Skyclave Aerialist also. So these are kind of the cards that I was excited out of blue. Other than that, we had things like Omen Hawker, Change the Equation, some Disturbing Conversions, a couple of Temporal Cleansing, and then really a lot of big Convoke payoff cards. So, you know, we've got Temporal Cleansing here, two Thunderhead Squadron, Artistic Refusal, so really big convoke payoff cards but not a whole lot on the enabling of it so not, not seeing a lot of tokens coming out of blue in this pool so that's the blue side of things kind of missing out on the token generators to help support those convoke payoffs uh, the next color red so some of the red cards that i liked rouse reinforcements war train slasher a couple of thrashing frontliners Red Cap Heel Slasher, Scrappy Bruiser. So these are some good creatures that I saw. Um, a little dense at the four drop slot. You know, you've got War Train Slasher, Red Cap Heel Slasher, and the Bruiser at the four drop slot. And really, I was kind of surprised there's not a lot of removal and interaction in this red pool. So we've got Searing Barb as our only uh, targeted removal spell in red this time around. Uh, there was a little bit of a kind of a cheeky Convoke enabler with Valduk. If we could equip him enough, we could get some of those tokens that might help us with Convoke. Um, but that was kind of on the outskirts a little bit this time around. So that was red. And then the last color that didn't make the cut is green. Some of the cards I like the look of. Cosmic Hunter, Iridescent Blade Master, we've got Placid Rotten Tail, Arachnoid Adaptation, Renata. Uh, these were really the most exciting things out of green this time around. Other things that we had, Sandstalker, Moloch, some Herbology Instructors, Seed of Hope, Port and Tractor, and Fertilid's Favor. So kind of a uh, shallow green pool this time around. So I wasn't too excited about green. But what that did leave me with was actually a really decent white-black deck. So we'll take a look at that right now. I'll set it out by the curve. And if you remember from the pack openings, we did get a copy of Elish Norn. So kind of hard not to play that when you open that. So 
So yeah, we did open a copy of Ellis Norn. So immediately I'm thinking, you know, do we have enough Phyrexians? Do we have some Phyrexian support? And I was really excited to see that there's actually nine playable Phyrexians in this pool, not counting some of the incidental incubator tokens that are floating around. We also got a copy of Sculpted Perfection. So some Phyrexian synergy there. And I did end up backing this up with a small knight contingent because there were a handful of good white creatures, white knight creatures. So I did back that up with um, to fill out my curve with the creatures. It's probably a little bit silly, but I did put the copy of Realm Breaker that we did get in here. Um, we only have one Praetor in the form of Elish Norn, and it's a limited deck. So you know the odds of us drawing it or the odds of us getting to trigger Realm, Bra Realm Breaker probably not going to happen, but, you know, it's there for fun. If anything, maybe we get to mill somebody out uh, in our limited game. There's a tiny little blue splash in the form of Marshal of Zolfir, just to help support some of those knights that we have in the deck as well. And then we ended up with a couple on-color dual lands for the deck. So that is what we ended up with. Nice little white-black Phyrexian Synergy deck. And we'll take a look and see how it plays in the games coming up. But thank you so much for watching. Feel free to let me know what direction you might have taken this pool of cards. Have certain cards or colors perform better for you in this set? What are some of the standout interactions in the format? Let me know. And stay tuned because, yeah, like I said, we're going to be playing this deck against one of the others that we've been building for March of the Machine. See you next time.